Alright, welcome everybody, New Joker 6 here, and today we're going to take a look at the Archiplasmorph. Now, it does deal with radiation, which, mm, for me, is a positive and a negative. Um, I avoid radiation elementals if I can, because they just, it just doesn't perform as well as other elementals, <laughs> to be quite blunt with it. Um, but with the way the Archiplasmorph fires, if you see here, I was kind of got that bit of spread that raising can work as a positive in a crowd so let's go ahead jump on in the archiplasma upgrade and this is what we're currently running on it um, obviously you can rank this up to be max there's plenty of room on this with just the two pharma so we got prime point blank shell shock toxic barrage prime ravage vigilant armament armaments Hell's Chamber, Blunderbuss, and Contagious Spread. Let's go ahead and hop on in. So, oh, honestly, 135 is going to be a little much, I think, to be honest, without having a Riven or something on this, but for an example here, we can hop on in. And the reason why I'm, I can't down the radiation too much is because of that spread. Look at that. You just fire into a group and now you... Just some, look at that. And as for one enemy, of course, it's going to be RNG up to that cro the corrosive procs. But you see, we're doing essentially more and more damage with each shot. And the radiation has worn off here, evidently. But you see, so you can't really down the radiation too much since you can't just fire into a group. And if they don't die, you turn them all on each other. So let's just. Uh, we're... There you are. All right, so we'll take that down. We'll knock it down to the one. We'll take a look, see how how that does here. 135. Uh, I think 135 is probably where I definitely recommend. I didn't kill the other ones. 135 is where I definitely recommend you either having uh, having a ribbon at this point or a warframe to buff slash debuff the enemy. So here we go. The only reason I recommend that is just so you can get through this quicker, preferably in just one full thing without needing to reload. Okay then. <laughs> uh, but it can definitely get the job done with 135. And for those that can't imagine, the difference in levels I'll show you the 100 for your sorties and of course sorties almost never in the void so your sorties always gonna perform better than what I display them as in here so there you go <laughs> a few shots less and of course no reload all right, now I'll go ahead and give you the example. If we can just jump this level back up to our 135 here, and I'll show you with a basic buff. My basic general buff I use for these examples are Rhino. Here we go. RNG does not seem to be in my favor today. Okay, I mean, I, it was like one or two shots less. <laughs> but of course that, again, it's going to come down to RNG and how often that corrosive procs for you. Like this time, we're not getting much in the way of any corrosive procs. So that's a bit of a shame. I think my buff ran out during that too. Boop, boop. There's our full thing again. We'll jump back in one more time. Oh, 
Now this is classified as a shotgun, which means the closer you get, the more devastating the thing can be. Like, look at that. That was six shots there. We did get a good chunk in corrosive to proc, but still, there you go. See if we can get something that lucky again. No, we can't get with something that lucky again, but... I mean, you can get a pretty good idea of what the RNG odds are like when shooting with this. And, as I said, with a sh it's like a shotgun, so the closer you are, the better. Overall, would I really recommend this in a longer run? No. You're playing the star chart? Yeah, you're just gonna annihilate everything through it. Take it to the sorties, but... That's probably about as far as I personally would be comfortable taking this without some like serious buff or debuff or you know something and you know it's just for just for the laughs let's see let's see what we can really get out of this just for the Googles I don't even have enough energy apparently that's interesting All right, and that is more than enough. And in the meantime, let's just speed ourselves up. <laughs> so, I mean, if you have a hero on your team, if you're a hero, I mean, you can get some serious buffs going. And that's, I guess, what you can expect on the Archiplasmore side of that serious buff. <laughs> Anyway, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.